We came to Bath and loved it all. I'd gladly come again. You need some reasons you should come? Stay tuned. I'll give you ten. Welcome back to My Travel Window, where we help you go as far as you can and travel as much as you can while you can. Today we come to the city of Bath on our six-week land and sea adventure to the UK and back. I gotta tell you, Bath surprised me. It was much more interesting and much more exciting than I ever expected it to be. It has everything that I want in a place to go explore. It has beautiful architecture. It has friendly people. It has easy travel. Um, it's safe. It's relatively inexpensive. Um, it has good food. It has um, uh, pretty scenery. It has, it's the perfect place to go walking around town with your camera in hand stopping to take a dozen iconic pictures uh, as you walk. It was a wonderful place to visit. So let me give you 10 reasons why you should visit Bath. Reason number one, Jane Austen. This famous author lived in Bath for six years and two of her novels, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion, find settings here. Although Jane was not overly fond in the city, the locals are quick to capitalize on that connection. When you come, be sure to go through the Jane Austen Center, which reviews her life and lets you dress up in period garb to have your picture taken with the wax figure of Mr. Darcy. You'll also learn why we don't exactly know what Jane looked like and all the dynamics of her family and how those fit into her books. Reason number two. Afternoon tea. Sure, you can get afternoon tea at lots of places in England, but there's an ambiance here that makes this one of the special places to partake. We chose to extend our stay at the Jane Austen Center and have tea with Mr. Darcy in the Regency Tea Room. They'll bring your choice of teas, I asked for a recommendation, overwhelmed with the choice selection, and a timer so that it's steeped just the right amount of time. Then there's the assortment of excellent sandwiches and sweets. Surprisingly, I think I like this more than my wife. Reason number three, the Roman baths. Bath is named for the pools created by natural thermal springs which have provided comfort and medicinal relief since the Romans first used them 2,000 years ago. The Romans built a massive structure to harness these waters, but for a lengthy period, the area was buried and forgotten. Excavation work on the ruins began in the late 1870s, lasted about a generation, then in the 1970s a new team of archaeologists undertook the task. When they reopened the site, which is mostly underground, it's truly impressive, with plenty of high-tech graphics augmenting extensive excavations. It's well worth the 25-pound admission fee. Word of the wise, give yourself plenty of time to explore leisurely. I gave myself about an hour and a half and didn't come close to seeing everything. Reason number four, safety. In 2015, an insurance company did a study of community safety and deemed Bath the second safest city. No, not the second safest city in the country, the second safest in the world. Nearby York claimed the number one spot. This is comforting as there are dozens of charming places to walk and explore in this city of about 200,000 people. There's a relaxed, family-friendly atmosphere that just infuses the place. Reason number five, the River Avon, or is it Avon? The relatively small river, uh, Avon, as would be known in the United States with the cosmetic company of that name, or Avon, as pronounced by the Brits, runs through the city of Bath, and along its shores are delightful places to stroll. We found a grocery store and picked up picnic supplies and had a wonderful meal, enjoying the ambiance and spectacular scenery. 
Now I should say that one of the Avon rivers flows through the city. Most of the geography of Britain was mapped by Romans. When they saw a landmark, they'd ask the locals if it already had a name. So they'd point to the river and the local Celt would say what it was, and it was dutifully recorded in the map. So the Romans had all sorts of rivers named Avon. That's because the Celts didn't name rivers. The word Avon just means river. So it's like pointing to Dog and asking his name, and they say, it's Dog. So now there are five river Avons in England, three in Scotland, and one with a different spelling in Wales. Today's video is a milestone. It's my 50th. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps. My goal is to get to a thousand members and I'm sure currently just shy of 300. Thank you in advance. Reason number six to visit Bath. Restaurants. We arrived in town before noon and could not check into our Airbnb for a couple hours. So we searched out a nice looking restaurant adjacent to the train station. Now, I've been known to criticize British food at times, but this place blew me away. Gray's was so good we had to come back again before we left. It is top-notch in any country. Reason number seven, Sally Lunn. One of the most famous places in town to eat is Sally Lunn's, famous for Lunn buns. We arrived before opening and stood in line to have one, which looks like this. Pair it with hot tea or a nice latte. Trust me, you will not regret it. For the price of admission, you can also tour the small museum in the basement of this 15th century house and see a depiction of the original Sally Lunn kitchen, as well as the layers of excavation that are under the house. Reason number eight, the locks. The River Avon used to overflow its banks, so the city developed a series of canals to control the water. These are at a different height than the river, so it's connected by, by locks. These are not commercial affairs, but self-service. If your family needs to get its boat from the canal onto the river, you hop out and crank the locks yourself. We were fortunate to get to watch this in action. This family shared it was their first time. They did well. Reason number nine, Pulteney Bridge. This famous bridge was built in 1774, making it almost 250 years old. It's one of the four most famous inhabited bridges in the world. These are bridges with shops and homes built into their structure. The other three are Rialto Bridge in Venice and Ponte Vecchio in Florence, both of which we've seen, and Kramerbrücke in Erfurt, Germany, which is not currently on our list. While the bridge itself is not as scenic as Rialto or Ponte Vecchio, the man-made waterfall structure makes for a beautiful setting. Finally, reason number 10, Bath Abbey. This prominent church has a soaring bell tower. For a modest fee, you can take a 45-minute guided tour to the roof and inside the tower. There you'll see the bells up close and personal and learn interesting stories of their history. You'll also see the back of the clock and learn its history, including why it's placed where it is. On the way, you get great views of the city below and a bird's eye perspective of the buskers. On the subject of musical buskers, Bath has a constant stream of talent on display. It's worth it just to take a seat and listen as one follows another. It's one of the things that makes Bath truly charming. Oh, but wait. That would be reason number 11. Or maybe the labyrinth of bookstores and shops uh, from medieval times is number 11. Whatever. Just go there. You won't regret it. Until next time, safe travels.